So today I'm going to show you how I did two swirls, two different swirls, both with testers paints. One, the second guitar, the paint was thinned out a little bit better. First guitar was straight out of the bottle. Going for that Jimi Hendrix I experienced look with the purple, yellow, and orange. Trying to get that psychedelic look. Still not having great success with swirling. You know, I was hoping my results would be better than they are right now. I'm going to continue to practice and show you guys my results until I get it correct. Swirling is definitely an art. It's a learned experience, just like building a guitar. This is an East White Pine guitar body. I've primed it with Rust-Oleum's Painter's Touch Ultra 2 times cover. Uh, it's a primer and paint in one. I wanted to try this. It was, uh, it was on sale at Menards. One with a yellow base, which is probably the ugliest color I could have gone with. It was supposed to be a lot more yellow and this actually has like a green tint to it. So we'll see what it turns out like. I'm going to be using testers paint today. I've got my 50 gallon bucket here filled with water. I've got borax in it. You can get borax at any local Kmart. It's one gallon of water to one and a half tablespoons. So I've got about four and a half cups in this bucket. I'm going to take my paints. I'm going to swirl them around and we're going to see how this turns out today. I had to thin the white a little bit because I ran out. And I'm only using just a bit of white, just as kind of a base. So I've got yellow, orange, and purple. Tad more orange for the yellow here. I got my stick, I'm gonna swizzle this around. I think I'm going to have a problem with some of these clumps, so I'm just taking them out here. You see something clumping, you can just kind of do this to get some of the runs. Alright, let's dip.
It's looking pretty good. There's a couple bubbles here, but I was careful with them as I pulled it out. You can see the bubbles forming, so depending on how you shake the paint off, you'll actually get them to run or not run. Looking pretty cool. Let me get take this to the hair dryer, dry it off a little bit, and see what it looks like. I've got a Tally humbucker here, all set to go. I mix these paints up a little bit with some thinner, so that that will still spread a little better. Mixing the colors here. Got a stick, and I'm just going to swirl these around now. The purple is definitely not floating all that well. It's a metallic. Uh, maybe when we dip it, it'll sit better. So I've got the guitar here. I'm going to slowly dip it in. Pretty cool. Some runs with the purple, but it wasn't sitting right. But it definitely came out. I use a hair dryer and blow off some of this extra water here. So this one now is 24 hours dry. The swirl actually came out okay, and that you know since the paint was thinned, as I was trying to get the purple to mix in, it uh, definitely broke it up significantly. So you can see you get a lot more just crazy swirling you know some some run outs here but definitely better than the other one you know you got this major run out probably if you didn't have these major run outs here this back would look out pretty good uh, but again still not the quality that I'm looking for but uh, you know interesting tests